How dare you? That's louder than I expected. Can I really not? That's loud. Hang on. Oh, wait. You can't even hear it yet. Hang on. <laughs> Let me tell you how loud this thing is. It's really, really loud. So I'm going to turn it down real quick. I don't know why I'm yelling. You'll be able to hear me perfectly fine. Good Lord. Can I... Do I not get audio settings? Do I seriously? What the fuck? Launching full screen. There we go. Play BGM and MA. What? I don't understand what this means. Hang on. By Bobby Schroeder. Thank you for the head pads. Full. Okay. F1 is full screen. F6 is display size. Okay. F5. F5 is full screen. Sorry. Let me. Uh. Uh. Where are we at? Is it this? Come on. Come on. You know, you know the words. What the fuck's going on? I got, oh wait, I don't even have the sound on yet. There's the sound. Where's the fucking thing? How do I, what, hello? Don't capture cursor, okay. Is it because it's not? Why the fuck? I'm so confused. Am I dumb? Oh, is it because it's not a game? Is that why? Hang on. Where's, um... <sighs> Super lesbian. There we go. Okay, that's, uh... Was it F5? We'll make it that. Okay. Okay. I can make that work. I think. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Okay. So that's full screen. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Super lesbian animal RPG. Um, I'm going to work on the sound real quick, though. Give me audio. That's where the fuck, hello? Hang on. <laughs> okay. There we go. Drop that down to 25. Get rid of that. Full screen again. Okay. <laughs> I think that's more manageable. Uh, I could probably make it a little louder, actually. This is uh, fantastic. Where's Willow? Hang on. Where the fuck is Willow? Oh, I am so glad I did not open this on stream. <clears throat> I'm playing slurp, slurp on stream. Got to go back to work. Bye. All right, bye, Tay. Where's my audio? No, oh, motherfucker. Da da da. What? Thirty three is probably fine. Yeah, that's probably good. I'll leave it there. Okay. <laughs> Here I am fucking around. Uh, I'll just get out of the way. Bobby Schroeder made this game. Apparently. Fucking fuck off. Okay. New game. Okay. Settings, toggle full screen, display size. Okay, so F1 is settings, but I don't think I have. Button one is A, B, C, X, Y. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't understand this so far. Okay, careful max display size will distort the pixels and average size monitors. Yeah, I know, whatever, who cares? It's gonna, I won't be able to see it anyway. <laughs> Controls can be changed at any time via the F1 menu. Gamepads also supported. Okay, sprint, select, menu cancel, and move. Okay. So it's just a regular RPG. I don't need a mouse. 
Um, for those who are, care more about the story, then the challenge provides boosted stats. I want easy. Oh, I can't use my mouse. Oh, why do you see my mouse? This is stupid. Don't capture cursor. Fuck off. Okay, great. <laughs> now it doesn't matter where it sits. Easy. Oh, I could use E. Enable additional guidance. You'll occasionally get a more direct hit on what to do next, denoted with blue text. No. I feel like I'm gonna regret that later. Over 1,000 years ago, the goddess Fortuna granted the mortals of her planet the gift of magic. This single act of, act of kindness forever changed the course of history. Now able to harness the art of the gods, the mortals flourished in this new arcane era. Grand citizens powered by ma grand cities powered by magic were built. Plagues were cured. The lands were connected by a new means of transport. Centuries later, most people have grown accustomed to their fa fantastical reality. Magic now coexists with modern technology as a part of everyday life. Okay, cool. So like, uh, um, fucking onward rules. But even today, many young people still find themselves chasing dreams of fame, glory, and moderate financial stability with the help of magic. These people seek to become adventurers. Sounds cool. The Sapphire Islands. Ooh. If the game's too quiet, please let me know. Or if I'm too loud. Hey, what if we met a dragon or something? That'd be pretty cool. Surely we've already met a dragon at some point. What about back in high school? So we've got Allison and Melody. Wasn't one of our classmates a dragon? Are you thinking of Josh? He's an armadillo lizard, not a dragon. Oh, d yeah, I knew that. What about you, though? Anything you want to do in this adventure? Mm, so I'm Melody, I think. Maybe uh, we could, uh, hmm, can I get a fucking, uh, I guess I haven't put that much thought into it. I don't know, I'm not too picky. Hey, be honest with me, Mel. Are you still down for these this Adventures Guild thing with Claire and Jody? Claire, Jody, Allison, Melody. Okay. Well, you're still excited, right? This is a great opportunity for you. You know I'm pumped and I'm grateful that you want to support me, but this is a huge undertaking for you too. I mean, of course I'm nervous, and yeah, our lack of tangible progress so far hasn't been the biggest confidence booster, but we're doing it together, right? At the end of the day, I think that makes it worth any- worth trying. <laughs> That's the spirit! We'll be the coolest fighting duo Green Ridge has ever seen! And man, how lucky am I to have such a cute adventuring partner! Oh, stop! <laughs> Get a room, you two! Who's there? Who's there? Who the fuck is that? What are you in the middle of something important? Oh, duh. <laughs> Come on, now, let's finish this little treasure hunt. Now, let's see. The next clue is travel north until you find the spot where two paths cross. Oh, I'm moving now. I want to go south. We've still got business to attend to before we head back to town. All right, fine. Two paths cross. I think this is it. Nice work, Mel. Well, I mean, this is less two paths crossing and more like a big X someone made with dirt, but this is probably it. Now, let's see. The next clue is from there. Search for the lonely tree. Lonely tree. I'm going to assume it's this way. Hey, look, a lone tree. This looks like the loneliest tree out here. I have no idea how long this game is, so I don't know how long I'll be playing. Actually, hang on. I could just, real quick, hang on. Hang on. God damn it, I need to close this fucking thing. <sighs> Super lesbian animal RPG. Play time? How long is Super Lesbian Animal RPG? Uh, 18 hours, Jesus. This is huge. I don't know, it doesn't look lonely to me. Feels like that's projecting our expectations for how it should feel. Please cease the out-of-pocket comments about the quality of the clues. Now let's, oh uh, wait, I think something's up, I think I see something up ahead. Can I sprint? Oh, I can't sprint. I forgot. 
the fuck? For your final test, you must use your wits to discern the identity of the one who has summoned you here. Is it Claire? Correct! Who's with slide directions for a scavenger hunt under my door this late at night? Okay, true. So what exactly was the point of this? Is this more training or something? Yes and no. I needed to get you in an adventurous mood to prepare you for what happens next. Now our guild missions over these last few months have been less than optimal. Yeah, I, we know. But what if I told you I have something that could change that? Fire? Candles. What I have here is... What the fuck? Is that a Pokemon? Behemoth ho Boar appears. Ow. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so that's not gonna do anything. What do we have? We don't have anything. Okay, so we're gonna. Hey! Shit. The heel core drops down and Alice's cheap sword, shattering it. Oh, fuck! Ah, crap! <laughs> um. Run! Oh, we can't run. Fuck. Uh. Uh. uh um. Get out of here, you two! <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Willow, this game's fucking awesome. Oh wait, do I not have a ship? Allison, are you hurt? I survived worse. I'm just glad you're okay. So that wasn't part of the plan, but I'm impressed by what I just saw. What, me getting kicked in the butt yet again? Kicked in my... whatever. A lot of people would have given up after so many setbacks. But not you two. Your hearts are in the right place, and you're willing to put in the work. You just need the power to back it up. Which is why I have this. This book contains a sacred ritual passed down to us by Fortuna, the goddess of magic herself. It also has an absurd amount of magical energy, which is just what attracted that monster just now. Whoa, where, where'd you get that? I found it while exploring. So as the story goes, when Fortuna first taught magic to us mortals way back then, nobody had the training required to cast spells, but instead of giving up on us, Fortuna came up with a ritual to awaken her acolyte's latent magic abilities. And I just so happen to have the instructions for that right here. I won't give up on the I won't give you the powers of a goddess, and you'll need a lot of practice, but I'll give you a running start. You just have to answer a few questions for me. What do you say? Sure. I mean, sounds like just what we needed, right? I mean, well, if Mel's in, then I'm in. Excellent. Let's start with you, Melody. Why don't you have... What? Why? Fucking Christ. I cannot read. Why do you want to be an adventurer? Well, Allison wants you and Joe to join your guild, but she knows I'd be worried sick if she ran off without me. So I thought, well, I'm not really doing anything else with my life. Maybe I could go with her and look out for her, try to keep her safe. I see. <clears throat> I'm not the best fighter, so I think it'll be more useful if I had healing magic. I mean, if I've tried to be a healer, but without magic, all I could really do is hand out potions. And I don't want to keep the team... I don't want to keep being the team water girl. I assumed as much. You'd make a great cleric. Well, not quite. I was thinking you'd rather be a paladin. Really? Like a noble crusader with a code of honor and all that jazz? Are you sure? Code of honor... I just like the sound of it. I've been reading... I've, I've been reading up on my... Options a lot. Uh, well, I don't know. I just like the sound of it. You don't sound all that confident in your choice. No, this is this is what I want. I'm sure of it. Okay, it's not really a role-playing game if I'm being given the role as opposed to choosing it. And you, Allison, you know me. Adventuring's in my blood. I just want to be strong and fight monsters, really. 
Yeah, to be a little more specific, evil monsters would be, evil monsters would be preferable, and I don't have any reason to fight nice monsters. Okay, smartass, but if that's all you're gonna think you work with, you're gonna be complaining if you give me your powers suck. I can't read, dude. <laughs> no promises. Great, now let's begin the ritual. Oh shit. Relax, it's just a little spell, and following the instructions to the letter. Is this dangerous? Oh, absolutely. What the fuck? Melody, are you still with us? Can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can I can hear you, Claire. Had us worried there for a second. Dang, I wish I could see what you're seeing. Wherever your consciousness is at right now. Anyway, Allison didn't need as much magic, so she's already done. But I've still got a few final preparations to make for you, Melody. I suggest you look around for a bit while you wait. So far, only complaint I have is the, uh... Oh, who the hell are you? Claire? There's, there's some kind of shadowy figure watching me here. Is this normal? Uh, I don't know, maybe? I've never experienced this myself. That might always be there. Uh, hello? Uh, he what? Hey, no, come back! It just disappeared! See, it left you alone. It's fine. I'm sure it's more scared of you than you are of it. Uh, all right, but uh, so far the only complaint I have is uh, that you can't go like diagonal. Okay, Melody, I... Hmm. I have one last question to ask you before we can complete the ritual. A whole lot of magical power is currently being channeled into you, and we need a way to focus that. You want to be a paladin, and paladins derive the power from a faith. Uh, I'm not really all that religious. It doesn't have to be religious. Let's just try filling in the blank. My power is derived from my faith in... Boobs. No, um... What about the power of love? That's the cheesiest thing I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, I know, but it could work. Especially with how inseparable you two are. That idea... <laughs> yeah. That idea sounds pretty gay. I like it. <laughs> oh, I love this game. If you're mainly doing this to follow your girlfriend around and heal her, then the source of your powers will never be far away. I don't see you two breaking up, but even if you did, you could still use the feelings of platonic love as a power source. As like a symbiosis sort of thing. Well, okay, maybe that's not the best mental image. Uh, whatever. The door leads to a path of a Morris Paladin, strengthened by faith in the power of love. Choose this path. No, I want to see what these have. I want to see what this one is. I assume the other one's nature. Would the faith in my own abilities count? What? Well, I feel like I'm kind of a natural hero. It just feels right. If it could be any faith, I'd like to be just in my faith of the ability to heal. You're telling me that you want to believe so hard that you have magic healing abilities. But the belief itself gives you the arcane power needed to actually cast healing spells. Which would, in turn, prove that belief right, like some kind of magical self-esteem Ouroboros. Is that what you're saying? I, uh... I mean, Resolute Paladins are a thing, but it's not that simple, Melody. Mel did help me out last flu season. I probably would have been in bed another week without her. And not only just because she brought me medicine, I think just having her around helped. She has, like, a soothing presence. I mean, healing's healing, right? Juice that shit up with some magical power or whatever. Fine, if this is what you really want, then I guess we can make it work. Resolute Paladin. Uh, faith in one's own abilities. No! I'm gonna do the word power. That's the power of love! <laughs> Sounds hella gay. I like it. And with that, the choice was made. Super lesbian animal RPG. It's like a animal, animal, fucking anime loading screen for, um, I can't remember the name of the show. Neo Genesis. Several weeks later. Boot! Bracelet? Pretty. Wow, I actually almost looked the part. Not bad for a couple things I had in my closet and a few pieces of cheap gear off the internet. Your name is Melody Amaranth. 
100% match. It's literally you. 22, trans girl. Bye, green itch. Zero miles away. Likes quiet evenings, snow, nature, chocolate, girls. Okay. Quiet evening, snow, nature. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're a timid fox who lives near the small town of Green Ridge in the scenic Sapphire Islands. <laughs> I like the 100% match. It's literally you. You've lived a quiet life with few ambitions since high school, mostly content to let yourself close to long on autopilot, but you always felt that something was missing. Is it Allison? Is it? Her name's Allison, right? A few months ago, something finally clicked, and you came to two important realizations about yourself. One, you're deeply in love with your adventurous best friend, Allison Go- Is that Goisha or Goletta? Probably Goletta. I'm gonna assume Goletta. And you probably, uh, you probably have been for a long time. Gay. As it turns out, the feeling was mutual. And two, if Allison has her heart set on becoming an adventurer, then maybe you should could, you could join her as a healer. Okay, enough holding up in my house. I've read all the material Claire gave me and run through my mana management exercises a thousand times. I think it's finally time to head into town and show everybody what I've learned. I already squeaky clean. Is this a is this a wall? I think that's that's a wall. I'm looking at it wrong. What we got in here? Inspect bookshelf. Been a while since I took a look at what's on the shelf. Let's see. There's a few graphic novels, including some Alice and Claire recommended for me. There's regular novels too, but mostly ones I read as a kid. Man, how come I don't read much anymore? Do I just have that the energy is adult? Oh, Lord, there's all my overpriced college textbooks. I don't even want to think about my next semester of online classes in the woods. And wow, the shelf is more depressing than I remember. Time to stop looking at it. <laughs> Can I look at the poster? Alice had a few of these autographed posters made last winter solstice. She gave them to everyone in her gift exchange and said they would be valuable someday. Of course, it was only a gift and that she gave everyone the real gifts. But I got real good when I called her bluff and actually hung it up. That was a really obvious ploy for affection, for attention, huh? <laughs> Can't believe it took me long to figure out I age crush on her. That's adorable. I bought this painting of Greenwich from Faith at her last art show. She really captured the town well. I want to see who Faith is. Whoops, looks like I left my laptop open on a blog overnight. Yeah, I was looking through my photos and reminiscing, huh? Ah. <gasps> uh. Wait, I can scroll here? Wow, well, look at the way I was looking at Allison here. <laughs> we weren't even dating yet. I guess this is why none of our friends were surprised when we announced we were dating a few months back. A tiger? This is from when Claire and Jody first started their adventuring guild. So that must be Jody, the tiger. They're so excited. Good lord, I need to stop staring at that. I guess it's our adventuring guild now, huh? Claire says she doesn't really like this one, though. She was standing too close to the camera says it makes her head look huge. I can sympathize with that, honestly. Pitman always oh, looks so cozy. It's like a little nice to me. I'm jealous. I'm almost jealous. Almost. All right, downstairs. Is this Pokemon? <gasps> Cat! Hi, Shadow! You look okay after the house while I'm out? Meow. Good boy. If you need anything, I'll give you permission to order delivery while I'm out, okay? Meow. Meow. <laughs> Already had breakfast. Okay, I guess we're going out. Shadow, I need you to get out of my way. <laughs> Alrighty. Ooh, punching bag. I've really gotten a lot of use out of this punching bag Jerry gave me. Every afternoon I've been doing some basic combat practice on it, then if my hands get sore, I take a break to practice healing magic on myself. So no substitute for the real thing, but hopefully the practice pays off. Yeah, nice looking house. Didn't even notice when watching them that these jeans are way too small for me. Allison must have left them here at some point. Still a little damp though, she can get them out some other time. Allison's pants are at my house. I like it. The fuck is that? Okay, now I head for... Is that a monster? Fuck is that? We need to usually keep away from this part of the coast. Guess it's time to put my training to the test. Ha! <laughs> Humble Hermit appears. What do I have? First aid. Um... I don't want to hurt him. He looks, he looks friendly. Ow. Party attempts to flee. Okay. Mm. 
If I have to. I didn't want to hurt him. It was just a, it was just a hermit crab. Oh, hey, treasure. It gold. It wasn't so bad. I should be able to make it to Greenwich, no problem. Greenridge. I'm just going to say Greenwich. If I get a little banged up, I can just use first aid. First aid outside battle open the menu and select skills. Wouldn't be a bad idea to hit that save station right there. What's menu? Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that is pretty. Look at her. Look at her. She's fucking pretty. Okay. Uh, I don't have any items. Oh, wait. Weapons? I see. I see. Okay. Nope. Uh. Uh. Uh huh. Party. Yeah. Uh, op option. Just one. Just one. Okay. Here's the volume. Let me turn those down so I can keep the game at a reasonable. Okay, give me a second. Fiddling with audio. What is it? Mark time. Twenty six. Additional guidance. Nope. Art. Yes. Politics. And let's leave it at 82. Which was how much Ludo narrative dissonance the game contains. I don't know what that means. What? Hang on. First of all, I gotta mark time. I don't have a pen. <clears throat> 26. Second of all, what the fuck is Ludo, narr Ludo narrative dissonance? Conflict between a video game's narrative told to the story and the narrative told to the gameplay. I'm just gonna leave them where they are and hope for the best because uh, I think that's, oh, and uh, obviously put the music back up. Oh, motherfucker, I hate. Having to. There we go. That's better. There we go. Look at that. I'm speedy. Another guy. Nope. Don't chase me. I mean, if I have to. Okay, maybe it was better to just leave the volume the way it was. Cuz now it's now it all seems really muted. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh Give me a sec. There, we're not actually going to do what I just said I was going to do. Yeah, this sounds a lot better, honestly. <clears throat> All right. I'm gonna do the hermit crab. I think he's the strongest, unless I'm wrong. Ow. Bang, bang, punch, punch. Ooh, I leveled up. Got more HP, more MP, bigger attack, bigger defense, bigger magic, bigger magic, bigger agility, bigger luck. Cool. Feels like I'm already getting better at this. Allison's gonna be so impressed. Ah. Oh, 
number one. Obviously this guy. Let's see who attacks worse. Is it the hermit crab or is it the squiggly guy? Dodge. Okay. Guess I'm not gonna find out. Does leveling up heal me? Is that what is that what it is? Bang. Hang on, where the fuck are my emojis? There we go. All right. Willow says, OMG, I'm so hyped that you're playing it, but there it works and I can't see it. Okay. Hang on. <clears throat> anyway, hey, we did it. Uh, buttons. I forget, it's not E. Or whatever else. Uh, shit. Okay, there we go. I found an ether! I assume that that's magic, right? Ether does magic, I think. I don't know. Is it a dungeon? I always wonder what's behind this door near my house, but I guess it's none of my business. Uh, it's all my fucking business. Because I said so. Whatever. There we go. What's down here? Give me! Fight! <coughs> Alright, who attacks stronger? There's a crab with a squiggly. Okay. Ten. Six. Okay, so it's the squiggly. Squigglies are stronger. I mean, I guess that makes sense. The hermit crab was first. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. I got a sneeze. Hang on. Snail? Snail picnic. I better not disturb them. Didn't really need to go over there anyway. Well, something tells me I'm eventually going to need to go over there and have to disturb them, but... And I mean, enemy, anemone, 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 the head of the I think I'll be fine. Fun. Have fun doing good. Do you? Oh, I can't go that way. That's right. All right. Anything over here? No. Oh wait, maybe. Oh, there is. Okay. Never mind. I'm gonna fight you again. Fight me. Oh, three of them. Oh no. Oh no. Right. When the break comes up in roughly 24 minutes. I'm gonna grab some food and a drink. So we'll take a, we'll take a short break then. Or when the ad break comes up, I mean. We'll take a short break so I can have some food and a drink. But then we'll get right back to the game. Also, we're not playing for 18 hours. It said the story was 18 hours long, but we're not playing for 18 hours. We're probably gonna do two or three. Greenwich! Oh well. I should come back here with Allison. And wish for what? Hot? Gay? Super lesbian animal RPG? Kissing? Uh, um, something ain't right here. I, uh... That was weird. Uh, this is a house. Can I go in the house? Probably should remind my business to stay out of strangers' houses. All right, Pokemon. Thanks. <laughs> Danger? Danger. All right, I'll come back there later.
I don't want to talk to that guy. Yeah, I don't care. Nope, I'm good, thanks. I don't care what you're selling. I'm good. What the- <gasps> Jody! <clears throat> I gotta come up with a voice for Jody. Oh, hey, Mel, got a minute? That's terrible. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing great with these voices. Hi, Jody. Hey, we've been having you around town lately. What have you been up to? Everything okay? Play cool, play cool, play cool. Not much. Did some spring cleaning around my house, got a little reading done, learned my first healing spells, the usual. Nice. Still not sure if I thought that magic thing Claire did with you and Allison the other week, but it sounds like it paid off. Hey, I was a little surprised we weren't there really for the Fort Lindemitual, actually. Guess it would have been more formal to have the whole guild there, but I doubt I would have been able to be much help. You know, I'm no magic expert. I leave that stuff to Claire. But hey, if you're picking up the healing magic that quickly, maybe we'll be able to go on an expedition soon. I, I don't know if I'm ready for that yet, but uh, uh, it's not necessary. Tr uh, it's not that scary, trust me. Claire hypes it up, but most of the places she wants to check that out are harmless. Just some local wizard ruins where she thinks we might be able to find an artifact or two. It won't be like what happened last time, I promise. So, I don't know, maybe sometime soon, but I'd like to practice a little more first. It's cool, this is all new for you. Go whatever pace you're comfortable with. Anyway, I assume you're looking for Allison, right? Am I really that predictable? Melody, you made six different posts on two different websites saying, I love my girlfriend of the last week. It was definitely more than six. Well, I'm sure she's dying to see you too. She hasn't texted you about it or anything. She's got some big news for you. Please don't tell me she didn't. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not another trampoline. Thank God. I guess I probably shouldn't ruin the surprise then. Allison can tell you yourself. Well, now you've got me curious. Well, I'd better get going then. Have a nice day, Jody. You too. I am ruining their voices with my non-trained, gross man voice. Willow says, yippee. <gasps> Rat! Mona! Hello, welcome to the... Oh, hey, Melody. Hi, Mona. Is Claire in right now? No, your friend's not here. Hey, if you see her, could you tell her to get her crap out of the meeting room upstairs? I know you guys are on the schedule, but that doesn't mean she can use it as a personal office the rest of the week. I'd pack her crap up myself, but she put some sort of hex on the door, so keep me out. I'll have a word with her if I see her. Mona. Mona. Read. <laughs> I want to know what's back here. Is this business back in there? Okay. Oh, fine. I've got no business in there. This is where I have a guild meeting, so I don't think anyone's in there right now. Oh, if I see her. Okay, I thought I was supposed to go in and talk to her. Alright, cool. Where's what's her face? Jody's grill, her bread and joy. And Claire and Jody's house uninvited. Okay, so Claire and Jody are roommates or partners. Diamond Square Shop! That's really funny, actually. I think someone's at the door. Hold on, I'll get it! Uh, hi, we're not ready yet! Uh, come back tomorrow for the grand opening, okay? Is this Allison's room? Or house? Axe. I wonder if this axe will be useful. I'll just leave it here though, it's a bit pointy for me. No Man's Sky. Yes, this is No Man's Sky. Isn't it? Did it not change? Did it not change? God damn it. I don't have... God. I thought that was obvious. Shots. Oh yeah, it's not No Man's Sky. Shut up. I don't know what you're talking, what are you talking about? We talk about 12. Hang on, let me go get those shots. <laughs> Or that shot. Single shot, not multiple. <clears throat> okay, so this one's this one's gonna be a little difficult because uh, there's still pickles in here. Um, which by the way. Um, the category is in No Man's Sky. It is not. I would recommend refreshing because I have definitely set it to Super Lesbian Animal RPG.
double checking. It is most definitely Super Lesbian Animal RPG. What is that name? It's a it's an RPG with um, uh, powerful gay furries, I assume. Yeah. Got um, word of advice: don't get great gherkins. Their pickles are not crunchy at all. Oh wow, that's a lot. All right, I've been meaning to get rid of these pickles in a in a form other than eating them because they fucking suck. But, um, bottoms up. Oh! Oh! Uh, oh, it's been a minute since I had one of those. Shit, that stinks. I'll just leave it here, though. It's a bit pointy for me. Am I not in the game? I'm not in the game. Ugh. Turn the radio on. It's gotta be Allison's favorite song or something. She plays it all the time. This fucking rocks! I know it's just a different version of the song that's already playing, but... God, that pickle shot really fucking... Ah. It would appear Allison's not hiding in her wardrobe to pop out and surprise me. Not this time. <laughs> Is it in the fridge? Cool magnets! Okay. Cool. Oh, it says cool. Much as I could go for a nap, I probably shouldn't be taking one in Allison's bed when she doesn't even know I'm in town today. All right. Okay, so where's Allison? Diamond Square. I get it because it's a diamond. That is Fortuna and the Gift of Magic. Is it Fortuna or Fortuna? Fortuna. So that has got to be the most valuable thing in the archipelago. And also the fanciest. Yeah. Leon Magic. Hello. When I grow up, I want to be just like my grandpa. A powerful sorcerer? No, evil. Anyway, the story store's not really open today, so you should come back down tomorrow and buy some spell books from my mom. Maybe all of them. Who are you? Hey, you and your friends are adventurers, right? Care to buy some spell books? Dad and half a million of these old things collecting dust around the house, and we figured it'd be better to sell them to folks who would just actually use them. If these were Mr. Leon's, then aren't they a little dangerous? Oh, no, 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 it's fine. He got rid of all the real scary ones years ago when he gave up villainy. At least that's what he tells me. Mama, if there aren't any dangerous, why don't we let them touch any of the spell books? I'm sorry, honey, these are for grown-ups only. If something's dangerous, it's probably ten times as dangerous in the hands of an eight-year-old. Or a hundred times as dangerous with me, right, Mom? That's right, sweetie. But Dad's just a hoarder. When he was an adventurer, he'd just grab any old book he found, whether it was useful to him or not. We've got plenty of spell books that would be useful for adventurous kids like you without being too dangerous, though. But you're gonna have to come back tomorrow if you'd like to pursue our wares. We aren't officially open yet. Leon Magic has been added to the quest log. Okay. Fortune Teller, I'm gonna go ahead and pass. Higgledy Piggledies. Love to get a bite to eat, but Piggledies is closed on Mondays. It's actually Thursday. Three bottles. These bottles have been thoroughly smashed. Almost definitely Allison's doing. Allison! Allison must be this way! Where's Allison? These flowers seem interesting. Do they grow like naturally? A hoop snake. Ow. Ow. Die. Alright, cool. I can trail midpoint. Where's Allison? A chest. Found an ether. Mew meow shroom. I feel like I've heard that pun before. Ow. Ow. 
I missed? Come on. This is not going well. Alright, I might want to avoid enemies for a bit. Where's Allison? No, fuck. Okay. Please. Ah. Right, cool. Ah. That's pretty. Hey, what are you staring at? <laughs> but Mel, what are you doing all the way out here? I just felt like I'd taken a hike. Wait, what's what's that? What? Why are you hurt? Oh, this is just a scratch. Funny story, actually. See, I was just minding my own business. I'm break at work, smashing some bottles I had lying around for fun. You know, same old, same old, but I noticed that one of the bottles smashed and a treasure map hidden inside. Awesome, right? Figured my mom must have buried some treasure out here and hit the map of the bottle at the house. Anyway, long story short, I got jumped by a monster and chasing here to give it a piece of my mind. But I kind of got away. Let me see where you're hurt. I want to try something. Oh? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, Melody, focus remember what you studied. Pause the thoughts, square breathing. Square breathing? How the fuck do you take square breaths? <laughs> Channel... Your mana into your palms. It's a bomb. Melody cast first aid. Oh my god, it worked! Whoa, Mel, that's incredible! You can really pull off healing spells like that already? Oh, it's just an entry-level first aid spell. It took me like two weeks just to get that one down, even with Clash Magic Boost. I can't exactly do much more than that. Do you really feel better? Yeah, I feel great. Give yourself some credit. Going from zero magic healing to be able to do that is pretty amazing. A pink thing. Oh, dear. I'm going to replace... I'm Okay, I'm making an executive decision right here. I'm replacing certain words with, like, shit and fuck. I'm not going to say it. I'm not gonna say, oh dear. I'm gonna go, what the fuck? <laughs> hey Mel, uh, I know this is a lot to ask, but you think you could lend me a hand here? Is this the monster? Hold hound, it's a dog. Fight, fight. Okay, we got this. Ooh, shit. I got you! Ow! Did it run away? It went into the hole! Attack the hole? Oh, I see. Ow. Dodge, nice. Fight! Got it. How the fuck? Bitch, aren't you dead? Oh, is it just like one point? Didn't even break a sweat. Hey, can't have too many of those. I want voice act I want this entire thing voice acted. I think we scared it off. No, I think you just beat it the fuck up. Isn't it a little weird to see a monster this close to town? It happens. It's just a whole hound. I find things like that poking around in my garbage at least once a year. So anyway, hey, I haven't seen you in forever. Really looking at that new look. It's adorable. I was going for more cool... Yeah? You really think so? I was trying to go for a healer look. It's not much, but it's... It's here. No way, you look great. I mean, I always think you're adorable, but today especially so. Since, but since you're here and I'm no longer busy, why don't we like, 
do something together. I missed having you around, you know? Let's go do something fun. Like, what? Couple stuff? Like a date? Yeah, totally. Normal couple stuff. No magic, no guild, no monsters. Just a chill afternoon together. You know what? You're right. I think a relaxing day off would be really good for me. Or at least half a day off. That's the spirit. I just spit everywhere. Did you have something in mind for us to do? A kiss would be a start. Oh, I thought it was two heck yeahs. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> a kiss would be a start. <laughs> heck yeah. <laughs> let's fucking, let's fucking go. <laughs> Uh, so what now? Uh, fuck, wrong button. I don't know, we'll figure something out. Let's just look around town and find something fun to do. Your girlfriend Allison has joined you. Cool! Let's go beat up some monsters. Fight! Bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna attack that thing, because it can poison us. And we should also attack that thing as well. Oh, great. How dare you hit my girlfriend! <laughs> cool. Oh, hey, treasure! <laughs> Oh boy, look who's here. Should we avoid Paula? I know you two don't exactly get along. No, you can tell her if you want. It's not like she won't notice us. Let's just try to make it quick. Oh, she's she's looking. I'm good. Nope. Fight! <laughs> ah, shit. Hey, uh, I'ma uh, heal myself real quick. Can you finish that off? All right, thanks, hon. All right, we're good. Boom. Oh, what the hell's that? Some kind of treasure map? Let's take a closer look. One, two, three, four. That's north. Three trees. It's not super clear, but I guess I'll keep an eye out for this treasure. Treasure map one. Access maps in the clock. Q by default. Okay. What? I'm a little confused. Um, Beverly. Hey, you two over here. I don't know why I give her a stupid voice. What's up, Beverly? You two seem like you go for a slice of cake. What makes, what makes you say that? I'm just very perceptive, Melody. I can't tell those things. T can't tell these things. Also got half left of a chocolate cake in the fridge and would rather share it with my friends than throw it out tomorrow. What do you think, Mel? Yeah, that sounds nice. Let's treat ourselves. Great. Let's head inside. <clears throat> <coughs> Here we are, two, <coughs> two slices of chocolate cake for the lovely couple. Enjoy. Sure you don't want to pay for want us to pay for this? Oh no, it's on the house. I probably owed one of you a favor anyway. Thank you, Beverly. I'll leave you two alone then. Holler if you need me. I should be an MP recovered. Cool, I didn't even need to heal. You know, if we were a real couple, we'd be sitting here drinking one milkshake with two straws. You want to ask for a milkshake? You could just have a milkshake if you want one. Oh, no, 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 that would be made too much sugar, even for me. So, what have you been up to lately? It's been a while since we, you know, talked. I've mostly been studying all that material and healing magic Claire gave me. 
Lots of little mana management exercises, deep breathing, focusing on your thoughts on a spell, that sort of stuff. <laughs> nice, but you done some of that stuff. But you know, you could have done some of that studying with me. I know, I'm sorry I haven't been around lately. I just, I don't know. No, come on, talk to me now. I guess just, I just felt like people wouldn't think I was taking it seriously if I didn't at least get a simple healing spell or two done before showing my face again. I wanted everyone to see what I'm really trying my hardest. I mean, I admire your commitment, and I'm really impressed by that healing spell you used on me. It just kind of felt the fresh, tingly sensation you get after a rinsing mouthwash. Except... Everywhere! But you know, everyone's got your back, right? You don't have to prove anything to anyone. I don't know, it's complicated. Positive. Positive re reassurance. Explain feelings further. Everyone's so encouraging. Well, everyone except Paula, I guess. But they're just saying that because they're our friends. Like, they don't know I'll succeed and they see the future. Like, they can't see the future and I haven't done anything like this before. They're just trying to be supportive. And part of me thinks all the support means I have a lot to live up to now and that'll let everyone down if this doesn't work out. But it's not like I want when everyone tell me when they think I'll fail, you know? Like, so it's complicated. Melody, I know, I know, I'm sorry. I'm just overthinking things. Ignore me. How about you? What have you gotten much training done? Not really. Claire says it's a certain point I'll only be getting out fighting monsters by, you know, fighting monsters. I haven't had a chance to go over an expedition or anything. And hole in the ground, hole hound to his side, there aren't a lot of monsters to fight around town. It's too bad that Faith and the Paladin, Bri Paladin Brigade are so good at their jobs, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that reminds me. I should probably tell you the big news. Brace yourself for this one. I'm braced. I quit my job. What the? Yeah, I never work on my butt off chopping down trees for minimum wage. Put to, put them at two weeks notice. Uh, two weeks ago, no, actually. Which means I can focus on adventuring full time. Nice. Guess you really got that. I clicked too fast. I really do. I mean, why shouldn't I? I know it's a risk, but if it works out, I'd be making what? Way, be made. Blah. Why did I pick an RPG? Why did I, why am I playing an RPG? It is literally the hard. Reading is the hardest fucking thing for me to do. It's so difficult. And we have an ad. I'm gonna grab lunch. Did I have a calzone already? I did. I need to, hang on. We're, we're gonna take a pause. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go make lunch. Abugu. I've returned. And the game is back. That's the risk, but if it works out, I'll be making way more money than I do at my job. And even if it's hard work, I'll be doing something fun with my friends and with the love of my life. <gasps> That's cute. Aww. Oh, speaking of the guild, have you seen Claire lately? Jody said she's been working on some kind of project. Yeah, I have no idea what's up with that project. Claire never tells me anything. You know how she can be. I thought you said no guild business today, though. Well, I'd at least like to tell her about the progress I've made, you know. Fair enough. Hey, Beverly, what about you? Any idea what Claire's been up to? Uh, I don't know. All that magic stuff Claire gets up to is way over my head, but I'm sure it's something cool knowing her. I'm not sure if knowing it involves magic makes me more or less concerned. I'd try asking Jody if I were you. Oh, right, well, thanks for the cake, Beverly. It was great as always. Oh, you're welcome. Two head, what are you two heading off now? Not sure. We haven't really thought about that far ahead, but why do you ask? Well, Claire said something about you getting special magic healing powers from the power of love or something like that. Is that true? More or less. Well, what do they think of next? Anyway, Claire asked me to keep an eye on you two and make sure everything's hunky-dory with your relationship to make sure your magic keeps working. That's a little weird. Everything's cool, though. You don't have anything to worry about. I thought so, but hey, if you ever need someone to talk to, I'll be around. Maybe we should go ask Jody what Claire's up to, just to have some peace of mind. <clears throat> I can't smooch my girlfriend. It makes me sad. Oh, hey, what's up? Castle. Well, that's a relief. What is? You two are spending time together. I've been pretty worried about Allison lately. What are you talking about, Trudy? I've been perfectly fine. By perfectly fine, you mean star for attention because your girlfriend was ignoring you? Then sure. You'd say that as if I'm not, as if I'm always looking for attention. Allison, if you miss me so much, why didn't you just come over to my place? That's a good question. Thank you. You're welcome, babe. <laughs> 
You two lovebirds don't need me anymore. I'm just gonna get back to what I was doing. You are doing nothing, Jody. How come you're not with Faith? Lose Faith. How come you're not hanging out with Faith? It's so rare to see, see her get this much free time. She just wanted to do a little painting, so I figured I'd let her have some space. I mean, it's not like we have to hang out all the time. I understand, she's a busy person. I just appreciate the time we managed to spend with her, and the rest of, us, the, rest of the time I let her live her own life. Wow, Jody, that's smart, emotionally mature. No, it's proof that Mel and I are agreeing we're just a true power couple. Up top, Mel. <laughs> anyway, have you seen Claire? Uh, no. She says she's been busy with some sort of top secret, very important guild project. One that didn't, uh, one she didn't want my help with. Are you a little concerned about what Claire's up to? Maybe, but I'm sure she knows what she's doing. Jody, sometimes I worry you let Claire get away with too much. What do you mean? How about the time she accidentally cast a spell that swapped your arms with your legs? Hey, magic's tricky. She fixes it and learns from her mistake, and that's all that matters. What about the time Province was trying to make a speech, but her mic wasn't working? Oh yeah, didn't she try to cast a volume increasing spell on Province, but it was way too loud and wouldn't hear, it wouldn't <laughs> wear off for 48 hours? Yeah, and Province tried to keep quiet, but of course Riley and Rhett kept trying to get her to rise out of her because they thought it was hilarious. Actually, that was pretty funny in hindsight. Listen, I'm Claire's roommate, not her mother. She's also an adult. It's not my job to discipline her on anything. I mean, come on, we all make mistakes. <clears throat> in fact, once I was trying to practice this force field spell with Faith, except I accidentally made it way too big and smashed her right through the wall in her office. Wow, I didn't even know about that. I'm gonna have to remember that one for next time. You rag me on breaking stuff. Yeah, great. Look, all I'm trying to say is Claire needs someone to be supportive of her and her ambitions. Oh, actually, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I saw Claire looking for something in your basement, Allison. She'd been down there a while, though. We should probably go check on that. All right, see you later, Jenny. Got it. I want, I want like voice actors for this game. Basement. Basement. Hey, Kage, what's up? Surprised by this idol? she is. Oh, I'm really safe. What's up about the game name? Yeah, that's what I meant. Super Lesbian Animal RPG. Claire, what? Why are my basement walls covered in trash? I can assure you that it's not trash. I like the lights. They're festive. How long have you been in my basement? What are you even doing down here? Listen, I'm sure you have a lot of questions, and I can answer those questions if you have some free time and think you're ready for something special. Okay. I guess we're ready. What are we What are we ready for exactly? Wonderful. All you need to know is that your basement is now the entrance to... A dungeon! What? Oh, shit. See, as your new guildmaster, it's my responsibility to give the two of you a proper education when it comes to adventuring. Our previous attempts have been interesting, but it wasn't as obvious we need to start smaller. I need a controlled subterranean environment to really appreciate that authentic dungeon experience in a more accessible manner. And in case you hadn't noticed, this is the only house in the neighborhood with a basement. Lucky you! So now your house is this cool underground labyrinth that we get to explore together as a team. A fungin? Drink. All right. Some. Lucky Water. for you, I just got food and a drink. So now, I'm hydrated. <clears throat> it would be so much fun. Claire, just because you're my new boss or whatever doesn't mean you get to b bust up my basement and do some radical remodeling. Okay, first of all, you hardly use this basement, let's be real. Uh, this place is a rental, how am I supposed to explain this to my landlord? I'm sure they'll see that adds a lot of value to their property. Now look at this extra square footage. Where the hell did you put my stuff? It's around here somewhere. I may have put it in half a space storage or something. I don't know. I don't even know what to say. How about, well, thanks, Claire. You sure did put a lot of effort into handling us our first adventure on Silver Platter. Okay, this is a lot. Let's just stop and take a deep breath, okay? No yelling. <sighs> Melody, what about you? Isn't this perfect for you? You get to do your own training right from the comfort of your own girlfriend's home. Well, underneath it, but... You've been practicing this. You've been practicing the spells I gave you, right? <laughs> you want a chance to show them off? Come on, this will be fun. It sounds more like Claire's idea of fun. I mean, I guess it's worth a shot. 
It's a lot easier to sell you on this than I thought. I mean, if we're adventurers now, so we gotta start somewhere. That's the spirit. Plus, I mean, either way, I am going to need someone to help me clear out all the evil monsters I summon here with dark magics. Wait, monsters, real monsters? Well, real-ish. They're more like dark magic constructs, I guess. They'll still put up a fight, though. I do feel like fighting. All right, fine. I'm still not crazy about this basement dungeon idea, but I've been dying to see some action. Eat my face to eat my... <laughs> Just make sure to put everything back to normal later. I don't need ratty basement monsters trying to eat my face in the middle of the night or whatever. I'll put it on my to-do list. Anyway, I was waiting for Jerry to show up before starting, but you know what? I think we can handle this on our own. We'll be just three pals on a fun-filled fungin adventure. Dungeon fungin. You sure it's a good idea? Come on, what's the worst that could happen? Claire dooms the planet. Okay. Mmm. Actually, could we postpone? We're kind of on a date, or whatever. More or less. I mean, unless you're okay with being a third wheel, I don't really care. Claire joined your party as a third wheel. Okay, but fair warning, I could start making- ma I could start macking on my girl at any time. No, really? You don't say. She's primarily driven by impulse, Claire. Sure. Some real hardcore taunts lock, if you catch my drift. I feel like I saw this before. Some real hardcore taunts, Loggy, if you catch my drift. Okay, that might be an exaggeration. Listen, you two are making it fade now. Just, so, so, can you, can we go? Swap and spit. <laughs> I guess it's Allison painting a big smacker. Smooching. <laughs> this is your revenge for me trashing your basement, isn't it? Face sucking. Locking lips, puckering up, watching submarine races. Can we just go already? <laughs> oh, they're so gay and I love it. Swap and spit. Good old tonsil hockey. <laughs> Oh, and if you guys feel like it's too rough, there's always plan B. Just up the inventory and use the difficulty like new cure and stuff to enable easy mode. The basement fungin. Alright, fine. Box. Dust bunny appears. John Lennon. No one hurts my girlfriend. Cool. Cool. Haha. Let's go left first. Dust Bunny Sage? Is that supposed to be a metal band? No one hurt my girlfriend. Wow, even keys are cardboard. Hey, if you think you can make better dungeon with real locks and keys, then be my guest. Need two keys. Okay. We're gonna go up, actually. Let's see what's in here. Wow, way to think outside the box, Melody. Or rather, outside the dungeon. Oh, sorry, we're not supposed to be back here? You're not, but trespassing is half the fun of adventure, so I don't allow this. What the fuck? We're not trespassing. <laughs> At least not right now. Ah! 
Oh wait. Oh, I see. Okay. 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 Fight. <sighs> um, okay. They didn't have an attack, so... Not clear! Core T. Oh, wait. Oh, you're shitting me. Hang on. Do I get to see it? No, I don't. Damn. You know what? Nah. Shit. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, I can't kiss Allison. What the fuck? Damn. That's a little annoying. That's upsetting. This is cute. God. I fucking love Allison. <clears throat> Alright, I would like to get to this box. This this chest here. Ten gold! Raves Lair, only 10 gold. Money doesn't grow on trees, you know. Actually, you couldn't use magic to play into money tree or something. I must try that once, but it turns out it's considered counterfeiting. It is very illegal. Who knew? It's just, uh, if you're gonna put 10 gold in there, why even bother putting a chest there? The chest itself is probably worth more. Actually, hey, can we just take it? Take the chest? Please don't. Okay, look, he's a spare potion I was keeping in case of emergency. He's happy now. You were keeping secret potions? You didn't think I'd let the two of my best friends get horribly maimed in a dungeon, did you? Wow, thanks for the vote of confidence, guys. You're the one who built it, bro! Alright, where's key number two? Bang, bang, bang! How dare you hurt my girlfriend! Eat shit, you fucking dust bunny motherfuckers. <clears throat> How dare you hurt my other friend who is a girl, I assume. Did I say eat? I meant hurt. set. Unless you provide refreshments in your dungeon. That's enough to heat us all on a pitch. So be sure to use it wisely. Also remember that we can't use picnic sick while in the middle of a fight. I mean, sure dungeon, Claire. Couldn't you just make the monsters wait for us to have our snacks? That depends. Can you eat a whole meal in six seconds? Is that a challenge? I'm... God, Willow and I are just Allison. 
Please don't ruin this lovely picnic set I bought by trying to scarf it down in one combat turn. This game's awesome. Basement dungeon key. Okay, great. That's both keys. We can move on to the end of the dungeon now. Uh, I have to admit, I'm actually kind of having fun here, Claire. Good. I've worked really hard on all of this. Adventuring tip. Fleeing from battle. Sometimes you'll ever won by the foes. Fo fo <laughs> you encounter. At times like this, you can flee from most battles by pressing the cancel button and selecting your actions. After the boss level, foes will usually prevent you from fleeing. Anyways, prepare for fight. Is this still trespassing? Are we underneath what's his face's house? I don't even know where we are. Flaming Dust Bunny. Who's also a girl? Ah, shit. No, oh, Jesus. Claire. Oh, shit. Oh, sorry. Oh wait, no. Um Boom. Not bad team. Definitely about to hang on to that. <clears throat> Generic brand potions. Oh wait, hang on, wasn't there something up here? Yeah, there was. Claire isn't running Claire isn't running a generator in an enclosed space, it's extremely dangerous. Don't worry, this generator runs on arcane energy, not fossil fuels, no fumes. I did keep it next to a body of water in case it got fire. Just to be safe. How did you not burn my house down in the process of building this madhouse? Yes, I should thank you for getting a generator instead of blowing a fuse in my house, though. Oh, Allison, that gives me an idea. My house is burning down! How is burning down my house going to help? <laughs> my house is burning down! <laughs> what the fuck? I can't read! No, no, I meant the blowing a fuse part. In a real dungeon, being able to cut the enemy's power could potentially give us a huge tactical advantage. If we turn off this generator, it'll kill all the solstice lights that I have put up around the dungeon, making it harder for the dust buddies to see us. Won't that also make it harder for us to see them? It won't be that dark. The dust buddies just seem to have exceptionally poor eyesight. What do you think, Mel? Eh, sure, why not? Here goes nothing. <laughs> oh, ho. Uh, hi. Hi. Pretty. She's pretty. Punch. Okay.
I got this. I got this. I got this. Oh, I have to. The fact she boosts my armor is all of her stats by 15% for Fetcher. Right jab, high kick, left jab, low kick. Ah! Let's do it and see what Dive Bomb does. Scorch. Holy shit! Nice work! Cool beans. Tear of revival. I don't know what that is. Okay, so what do you think you're doing in my secret hideout? You can talk? Your secret hideout? This is connected to my dungeon. Wait, dungeon? Are you like bad guys? I tried telling her the dungeon thing wasn't a good look. Can we get into this right now? Um, excuse me, how is a mermaid surviving in this little pond? Are you okay? Do you need help getting back to the ocean or something? Oh no, I'm fine. This water's way deeper than it looks. There's a whole underwater cave network down there leading back out to the ocean. I just found this cool little cave with all the sister slides and thought it was a nice place to chill. Which it was until you guys barged in and beat me up. Again, I was here first. Also, you attacked us. Oh yeah, sorry about that. I think this is all just a big misunderstanding. Yeah, sorry for beating you up. Eh, no hard feelings. Name's Kaya, by the way. I like that name. Well, we kind of in the middle of something, Kaya. Well, we're kind of in the middle of something, Kaya, but when we're done, I guess you can keep the generator and do whatever you want in here. Didn't want to put it back to the service anyway. Ah, oh, thanks. Yes, it's not much, but it's a little something to repay the favor. Mermaid one! Thank you. Uh, see you around, I guess. Peace. This place is pretty cool. Maybe I should try and throw a party in here or something. Cool! I got a mermaid friend! Well, we got two keys, what now? Da -da 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 -da. I guess it's open now. Okay, this is the duty of the final battle. Here, but here, put your skills to the test more than anything we've faced so far. Oh, shit. Have you two are ready for a tussle? A tussle? Really? What? What's wrong with calling it a tussle? Well, the way you've hyped it up, it sounds like a little more than a tussle. Maybe a brawl? What about a fracas? Can we just get this over with? The muscles are catching, itching for a tussle. Okay, now you're just being difficult. I'm always being difficult. A single box. Okay, here we go. My first real chance to show you time what I got. Don't blink, you guys. Big dust bunny. Oh, wait, no. I want... Ah, uh, fuck. I can't do dive bomb now. I guess I have to attack. Uh, yeah. I thought that's a scratch, not scorch. Kaboom! Ouch. Guys, can you please just attack the thing? Ah. Mwah. <coughs> Mwah. Mwah. Fireball. 
I thought it was funny. Okay, so they each got two. So let's do, what is this? So there's stuff power, restore a decent amount of a friend, friend's MP. Okay. Let's just attack. Dive bomb! And scorch. Again. Oh, right. Kaboom. 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 Ow. Attack! Uh, I'm gonna heal Claire, because Claire's pretty low. And now both of them attack. Actually, no, Claire's gonna use Scorch again, because I think that's better than... <clears throat> oh, right. Oof. Kaboom! Oh, it's over? Oh, look, I leveled up. Neat. Gust. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Alrighty. And the Zircon Saber. Ooh, a sword! Oh, this thing looks sick! Go ahead and take it out. Go ahead and take it out. Did you leave these here just for me? That's actually really nice of you. Yeah, that's a very thoughtful gift, Claire. I pulled some strings to get the nice treasure for the dungeon. I mean, I could have kept it for myself, but fighting with swords is so uncouth compared to pyrokinesis. I'm so happy that I'm not going to complain about how stupid that combat was. Actually, this sword is supposed to be enchanted, but it looks like the gem in the hilt isn't the original. So right now it's just a normal sword, which is probably why I got it for so cheap. But hey, maybe we'll find a replacement gem when we go on some real adventures. Now we're talking! Do you really think we're ready for that? Sure, you two got through my dungeon just fine. A real one would only be marginally more life-threatening. Marginally? Hey, don't worry, Val. No, bleh, bleh. no clowns gonna hurt my girlfriend on my watch, promise. They usually aren't clowns. We should probably head outside ASAP, though. I'm not even entirely sure how structurally sound this dungeon is. You only worrying about this, uh, us about that now? This place is made of cardboard. I don't know what she was expected. Whatever. Let's get out of here, Mel. Be sure to equip Allison's new weapon by going to the equip menu. Allison. Weapon. Zircon Saber. Oh, pauldrons? I thought that was potions. I didn't put the wall here. Well, it's kind of in the way. We just have to find another way out, I guess. Oh, I guess it's another test for us. Very clever, Claire. No, it's it's not. I'm a little freaked out, honestly. I have no idea where that wall came from. You got a lot of trips up your sleeve. You can't burn this wall with a fire spell or something? Nope, I've had proof this dungeon pretty thoroughly so I could cast Scorch without burning the place down. Let's just try to find another exit. Like Claire said, it's got to be a crack in the wall or something. Okay, Mel? I got a bad feeling about this. I need to find another way out. What? Another wall? Whoa! Several minutes ago in Green Ridge. And I'm bored. Girls have been down in Allison's basement an awfully long time. Wonder what they're up to. It's probably nothing, right? Who'd invite me if they had plans? Maybe she gives you a check on uh, text from Faith. Grab your armor and meet me at the tower ASAP. It's urgent. Don't tell anyone. Oh shit. This doesn't exactly look like a way out. How do we even end up in this cave? I mean, there are a lot of caves in a Green Ridge, right? Yeah, but we went, what, east then south? Shouldn't we be back in the east end of the dungeon? 
clear? Shouldn't you know where we are? I never found this cave when building the dungeon, so no, I'm not quite sure where we are. Maybe we should turn around before we get lost in the cave. Didn't exactly see any holes in the wall up there. It's kind of our only option. Besides, you two are looking for adventure, right? Let's look at the bright side. What more adventurous than getting lost in a mysterious cave? This danger sign is very reassuring. Oh man, are we? What? What's up? I might know where we are. I have no idea how we ended up here, though. Let's just say I hope I'm wrong. Okay, yeah, I actually know where we are. Let's turn back. Why? What is it? Oh, this is just right up ahead. Be obligated to open that as adventure is. It's, uh, it's a curse. Yeah. An old Gal Galetta family heirloom that's extremely cursed. Mom sealed it away in that treasure chest. You realize that just makes me want to open the chest even more now, right? The chest is also booby-trapped. I hope you realize I'm not buying a single word of this. Okay. Then we don't open it. I respect your wishes. How the fuck do I get in here? Alright, fine. I do wanna I do actually wanna look at it though. <clears throat> because of course it's important to the story. I don't listen, Allison, under any other circumstance, I wouldn't go rifling through your business. But Allison's photo album. Is this your mom's photo album? What's this doing here? It's, well, okay, when I was 18, I was trying to start fresh. I wanted to shake off that some of that middle and high school dweebiness, you know? Kind of like remaking on social media. So after my mom left, I kind of had this old photo album first filled with the bearing photos of me in, ca in a cave so no one would ever see it. Wow, and I thought I was melodramatic. Yeah, I guess I might have been a bit much. You know what this means though, right? I've got to see what's in this photo album. No, 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 come on, how bad could it be? Melody, back me up here. Aren't you curious too? I mean, I've probably seen most of them before. If we were dug up, probably even... If we dug, if we dug enough, we'd probably even find some photos of me. You know what? Fine. It's probably nothing that embarrassing. Just a quick peek though, okay? See, that's adorable! Is that your mom? Choose your next words very carefully, Claire. I was just gonna say she looks like a total badass. Definitely buy all those stories you told me about her now. What, you didn't believe him before? How old is this one? You look really young here. I think this is before I moved here, maybe four or five? Which explains why my hair is a total mess. I do remember a time when you didn't spend an hour a day on your hair. What's next? That's fucking cute as hell. Who's this? Do you have a sibling I don't know about? That's me. Oh my god. Yeah, I had a scene face for a brief period in high school. I know, it's stupid. No way, it's cool. You were just expressing yourself. My parents would have killed me if I tried something that extreme. Anyway, next! That's so cute! Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, laugh it up. Your mom dressed you up as a carrot! I was one year old. What the hell was I supposed to do? Oh man, that is just great. The humble origins of the legendary hero, Alison Galetta. Yeah, I definitely remember why I hit this thing. Oh, relax, I'm only teasing. This is all adorable. You should be thankful your mom preserved all these happy, memori happy memories for you. I, I guess you're right. Well, that was fun, but now we're still stuck in a cave. A cave that, if I remember correctly, should be on the other side of town. Something is definitely going on around here. Oh, those are adorable. Allison, you said you'd been in this cave before, right? Has this void always been down here? Yeah, no. Wow, this is incredible. It sort of looks like the fabric of reality is falling apart. No, it just looks like we're back in your dungeon and that weird magic effect you had going on but the floor is leaking out. Or something. Quit trying to freak us out with your bonding through danger shtick. No, I really mean it. This is not part of the dungeon I designed. Okay, Claire, listen. Is it possible that maybe when summoning the dust bunnies you got a little more than you bargained for? Not a chance. I was incredibly careful about this. It takes much more energy to summon more powerful creatures. I used a small amount of matter to summon exactly as many dust bunnies as needed. Now, I think we've stumbled upon something else. A couch. A sofa. Well then, looks like a pretty nice one too. You know, I could really go for a nap. I'm pretty tired from all this dungeon business. I think I'm gonna pop a squat on this couch and pass out for a little bit. Really? Right here, in this part of the dungeon that shouldn't even exist. So I'm a sleepy buddy, Claire. I wasn't expecting to go to some wild dungeon adventure today. I need a sec to recharge. I could probably use a little rest too, and there's absolutely no way I'm going ahead with that, Allison. Of course. Well, I suppose some rest could do us some good. Let's take a power nap. All right. The 
the basement dungeon. Greenwich. Something ain't right here. Core barrier controls, insert key. I think I can push this block from the other side. Okay. No keys in inventory. It's, uh, okay. Danger. Uh, something right here. Uh oh. Danger. This is so confusing. What the fuck is going on? Mobile whole hound. Most of an egg. <laughs> Mobile whole hound versus most of an egg. Ow. Ow. Okay. Die. Less of an egg. Found a key. Okay, cool. I'm gonna have to fight you anyway. Hold on, rip in space time. Perfect. Clue what's going on. Okay. Definitely gonna hang on to that. Found another key. Rah. I'm not sticking my hand in that. That's clearly a mimic. On a grand core tea. Awesome. Fight me! Space time and fears play me Dust Bunny. Dodge! You don't hurt my girlfriend! I think I have three keys. Is that right? Whole hand. Yeah. <laughs> 
Probably the barrier. Oh, I only had two? Oh, because I opened three chests. Oh, that's what it was. Oh, so they don't pull that through. What happened to Claire? Oh, it's because Allison's corrupted. Oh, shit. Fix. Fuck it, Christ. Thank you. 
What the fuck? Is it a computer? This thing is downright ancient. It looks old, doesn't even have a mouse, just says arrow keys. Wish I had a trackball, that'd be fun. I assume he's the type of kid in school who would always steal the trackballs from the old mice in the computer lab. How short sighted do you think I am, Claire? I couldn't have gone and played flash games in the middle of class without a functioning mouse. True. Anyway, Melody, what does it say on the screen? It might be important. It almost looks like an email client. There's a message open on the screen. Things will get interesting down there once the process starts, so you may want to know this spell to clear away a certain type of corruption. V. Oh, there are different directions. Oh, there are directions to some kind of healing spell that might help us get out of here. Purify. <laughs> Most definitely obvious here. So thanks, uh, V. Who could this message actually be for, though? What's this process, and why is there a functioning computer in the middle of, well, wherever the hell we are? I'm personally too concerned about getting back to the surface to look for a gift and gift horse in the mouth here, Claire. I would like to use heal. I want to kill this thing, whatever it is. Bonk. Ow! Die. There we go, all of our stuff's been restored. For this, probably be a good idea to use the safe station rest ups at that couch we saw earlier. We're not ready. Yes. Let's go. The hell is this? Core Guardian. Frost. Let's see what happens. Okay. 
Ay. Jesus. Let's... I do want to kiss. Mwah. Mwah. This thing up. All right, we're good. Cool. Good lord. I guess I was worried about you two being ready for a bigger challenge. How much power did that Fortunica spell, Fort, Fortunica spell give you? As much as I'd love to go, the moment I'm more concerned about the fact is that that dead end. Should we turn it back? Maybe everything's shifting around back there and give us an exit. What the f Fuck. Resorting to name calling, are we? Honestly. Oh, wait, hang on. Honestly, the nerve. You barge into someone else's property and pummel every living thing in sight, and you think I'm the monster? Uh, um, is that all you have to say for yourselves? Okay, two things, dude. One, if you keep trying to scare my girlfriend, we're gonna have a problem. And two, can you lose the goofy mask? I know my looks may be hard to believe, but this is just my face. That's, uh, uh okay. Hmm? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Oh, you think I look peculiar, do you? Well, the feeling is mutual, you weird little ear creature. Hmm, Finch. Wait, do you not know what a rabbit is? Please, I never claimed to be a zoologist. We don't actually think you look funny, by the way. That would be very rude to the only person who might be able to help us leave, right, Allison? Yeah, I really love that one piercing eye that stares directly into my soul thing you've got going on. As much as I'd love these cute little attempts to win my favor, I believe we were discussing something else. Oh yes, you three are trespassing. What are you doing in here, other than causing property damage? We're trapped in here. <coughs> We're just looking for a way out and defending ourselves against the monsters, we swear. Figures, just three locals acting like they own the place before we're even ready for guests. 
So you're responsible for all this? Oh, ah, oh, fuck. <clears throat> I'm not quite sure what I would call a dungeon, but yes, this facility is under my jurisdiction. Things were shaping up quite nicely before you three started knocking out my underlings. Even the most of an eggs. Those poor helpless most of an eggs. You've crushed their self-esteem. Okay, but what exactly were you doing building a weird labyrinth down here underneath our town? I could ask you the same thing about your little dungeon now, couldn't I? Ah, so you've heard of my work. Claire, now's not the time. Um, excuse me, I don't think we cut your name. My name is Jervis. Not Jervis. Jervis. J-A-V-I-S. Everyone always gets it wrong. You may also refer to me as Sir if you wish to grovel. I am Jeff. Okay, uh, Mr. Janice, sir, what exactly is going on down here? Oh, just making some preparations before my superior's arrival. Tidying up would be the phrase, I believe. Your superior? Who's, who's that? Uh, whoops, I probably said more than I should. It's none of your concern. I'm letting you three off with just a warning. You lucky I have better things to do right now than deal with you. Just for future reference, quit punching my subordinates and try not to wreck anything else of mine, okay? But I love wrecking! <clears throat> Well then, I have good news for you, you horrible little creature. It looks like the scrambler was damaged in your little skirmish and is going critical. This whole facility will be gone in a matter of seconds, such a shame. I'll be leaving now, let's hope we never meet again. Wait! Oh shit. Well, okay. Are we alive? That's a good question. Claire, is this hell? Or just like a personal hell? It's a cave. That doesn't exactly answer the question. Is that Hope Dungeon really gone? Just like that? Looks like it. Oh, thank God. I was acting starting to think we'd never get out of there. See? See what I told you, Mel? You got nothing to worry about with me watching your back. Thanks, Allison. I can't believe it's all gone. What a waste. Claire, that dungeon was bogus. I know, but that was like our first real adventure. It was such a good learning experience. I wish I had a chance to take notes. Well, next time you get stuck in a reality warping dungeon by taking on a videotape, I'm sure you'll remember to bring your notebook and a pen. Now, I hope this is the last time you have to say this today, but let's find a way out of here. Is this the chest where we found Allison's photo album? Yeah, it is. It's a good sign, though. This cave should be right on the outskirts of town. Man, things must have really mixed up here if the cave ended up all the way over next to Claire's dungeon. <laughs> Danger! Oh my god, we did it! We made it out of the hole in one piece. Well, three pieces because there are three of us, but you get my point. See, I told you we had this under control. Are your adventures with Jody usually that whack, Claire, or was that new? That was, well, that was something else. I'm still processing it, I think. Well, I don't know about you two, but I'm exhausted. I'm heading back to my place for a nice long nap. Oh, before you go, maybe we should, you know, keep what happened down there to ourselves, you know, for now at least. If Faith finds out about the whole basement dungeon thing, we'll never hear the end of it. I'm not sure anyone would believe, if it, believe us if we told them what we saw anyway. Uh, you're the boss. Mel, you coming with? Oh, y yeah, I can really use the rest myself. And there I go. Hmm. Would you like to save your progress? Absolutely. <laughs> Later that night. Melody must have gone for a walk when she got up. Shouldn't be too hard to track her down. Oh, now I'm Allison! Hey, 
sleep early. Couldn't sleep. Just a little restless, I guess. How'd you know I'd be here? I didn't. This was my fourth guess. Want some coffee? Uh, what kind of coffee? Just extremely sugary kind with very little actual caffeine, just how you like it. You shouldn't have, but I'll take it anyway. Well, today was sure interesting, huh? I certainly can't say that's how I expected to spend my Monday. What do you think would be different? Less eggs, mainly. Fair enough. Hey, you did great, though. All that healing and junk? We couldn't have done that without you. Probably would have gotten punched clean through a wall and left a party shaped hole like in a cartoon. <laughs> Feel pretty good about it. Yeah. I mean, circumstances might not have been ideal, but I don't know. Something about just feels right. Maybe it feels good to be useful to someone. No, you're not. It's not good to judge yourself based on how useful you are. Okay, maybe it's not the right wording. It just feel ni feels nice to be helping people. You know, keeping my friends from getting hurt, making a difference in their lives. Maybe I'll even find or figure out my thing. Your thing? Okay, like Claire's got her magic, Jody's got a courageous knight with a coat of honor and all that. And you're a great fighter and you're super cool. What stands out about me? Being pink? I don't have any flashy talents or interesting hobbies or a cool job. I'm just kind of around. But now maybe healing is my thing. I mean, you seem like a natural to me, but you've already got a lot of things. You're also super nice and you're insightful and you're generous and you're a really giving person. You know that? And of course, you're pretty cute too. That's a plus. And look at me. I'm glad you think I'm cool, but I'm a big dummy who likes swords and cute girls and cute girls with swords and run on sentences. I guess what I'm saying is, I hope this works out. But if it doesn't, you shouldn't worry about trying to force yourself into a neat little box like that. It's okay for you to just be you. I mean, I already like you for being you. Stop saying so many smart things, you big dumbass. Well, when I talk about you as much as I do, eventually you get lucky and say something smart. So what about you? Is this guild thing going as well as you'd hoped? I mean, pretty much. Aside from the weird limbo dimension or whatever we stumbled into, I can't complain much. You don't sound that enthused. No, I am. I'm just groggy. We're doing great. I guess it just doesn't feel completely real yet. I don't have any reason to be concerned, though. It's it's fine. My brain's just being dumb and not letting me relax. <laughs> I know the feeling. But you've wanted this your whole life, right? Yep, pretty much. I mean, it's hard not to be an adventurer when most of the formative memories involve tagging along with your mom on her legendary adventures. I can't even imagine what that must have been like. Well, okay, my mom probably didn't make her the grandest adventures before we settled in Greenridge, but it's just the more toddler-friendly ones. All the legendary adventures with no sharp objects or potential choking hazards or swearing. Everything felt really grand to a little kid like me, though. My mom was the coolest person in the world to me. She wasn't afraid of anything, and it was like being the kid of a superhero. So I guess because of her, I always thought that being an adventurer was the coolest thing you could be. But I still feel pretty much the same. Maybe that's a bit too much to live up to. But I'm happy to be getting the chance to do this at all, especially with you, Melody. Hey, have I ever told you why I chose the name Melody? I don't think you have. What do you ask? I don't know. We're just reminiscing now, I guess. So I always have overthink. I always have to overthink everything, right? So I really wanted to make it count. I couldn't just pick any name. Melody sounded like a sweet name to me, and well, this probably sounds stupid, but I thought that in a song, the melody is sort of the centerpiece, like the focal point of the song, and I got certain confidence to it in the part of the song that people really pay attention to in most songs, right? I don't know. That might all be wrong. Maybe I should have taken music theory in high school. Now that makes sense to me, and I did take music theory. I thought that if I just heard it enough, I'd start to think of myself like that. Like my name represented the kind of person I wanted to become. Not just the girl part, but like everything. Someone more confident in her voice, I guess. Sorry, I'm being such a doubter, aren't I? Do you remember what I said to you when you came out to me in faith? You said that if I spelled my name with an I, that I could do it with a heart. And that it'd be cute. Why'd, it take so lo Why'd we take so long to start dating? Because we're a couple of dummies. <laughs> this game's cute. Are you there, my queen? I've got a status report on the operation on uh, whatever it is they call this horrid planet. <clears throat> Last I heard, they were calling the planet Riveri. Riveri, that's the one. Anyway, I just like to report that everything is going according to plan so far. There may have been some minor setbacks, admittedly, but not to worry. We did anticipate the possibility of interference from the locals, after all. So we've moved on to plan B. Nice work, Jalice. 
Have you made contact with the potential recruit you had your eye on in Greenridge? Affirmative. It was quite simple to sway her to our side. While she's inexperienced, she makes up for it with raw skill and passion. I see great potential in her. And if nothing else, her familiarity with the area will be of great use. Well, hey, if you ever forget the name of the planet you're on again, now you can just ask her. Good one, my queen. So when should I be able to make my grand entrance? I can only keep myself preoccupied for so long while you run around playing Dungeon Master and having all the fun. Very soon, my queen. If we remain on schedule, we should be ready within 48 hours. Wonderful. I hope they're ready for me. <gasps> Spooky. Act two. Ow. All right, that was act one. I mean, well, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we're, we're not gonna we're not gonna keep moving from here. We're gonna we're gonna be this is we're done. That's it for today. We will pick this up another time when Willow isn't working, so Willow can either watch or voice. Thank you for the headpads, villain. Who are we gonna bug? Who are we gonna bug? Who are we bugging? Who are we bugging? Ooh, we bugging. Ooh, we bugging. Ooh, ooh, Foo just started. Foo just started. And <clears throat> we haven't raided them in a while. So, follow the subscriber only chat. Unfortunately, that's a little, uh, like I understand it, but like, um, it's fine. Y'all. Have a good rest of your day. I will see you all maybe tomorrow, maybe Saturday. I don't know when else because I have work for the rest of the week. Go bother Fu. Fu Lulu.